now we're going to take a look at our DC motor unit. We can see that we have two screws that plug underneath, and we're going to remove the motor belt first. Now we're going to remove the two screws on the bottom. These screws sometimes are really tight, so you want to get a good bite on it and then start to loosen them. Try not to strip it. And we'll remove the second screw on the bottom. And we have a bracket at the top of the motor that holds it to the casting of the machine for extra support. And we're going to remove the screw that goes through the bracket and into the casting. And once we get rid of that screw, we can remove our DC motor unit. Now we want to inspect the DC motor, and we can see that on the back we have our sensor, and we have a black shield plate that turns and goes through the sensor. If we can see through the side, you can see that the shield plate, which is the black circular piece, runs through the sensor, or it should. So we always want to keep this sensor clean, and make sure that the shield plate is running through. Now also, you want to turn it around and you want to check your wires. Make sure the wires aren't disconnected or broken. Now to replace it, we just place it back in. We're going to grab the two screws from the bottom and we're going to place them in. However, we are not going to put them in all the way tight just enough to hold the motor unit in place. We have to remember that if we remove the motor unit to service it or if we need it to replace it, when we put it back in, it's very important when we put the motor belt on to get the proper tension for the motor belt. If it's too tight, the machine would feel sluggish. So once we get our motor bracket back in and screwed into the casting, we'll put the motor belt around and around the hand wheel. Now we'll start to turn the feel and we can push against the belt and feel the tension. That's not too bad, but let's take a look at if it was a little tighter. And we push towards the front and that would make it tighter. And if we push to the rear, we can see that we have a lot of slop in the belt, which is not good. So we want about five millimeters deflection. We push in and we can see that we have nice deflection and we'll tighten the screws. And When you're sure that you have it, make sure the screws are tightened well and tighten the bracket as well that goes into the casting. And always turn the hand wheel and you want to feel how it feels. And our deflection is good.